With Russell pacified, I could be forgiven for thinking my troubles at Bullworth were over. But this place is a rotten onion. Peel off one stinking layer, and there's another even smellier one beneath. Well, Jimmy, word on the street is you're something of a pugilist. No, sir, I never pugilized in my life. Really? And that you've been saying some entertaining things about me and some barnyard animals? No, I never said that. Well, I listen to things, Hopkins. You try and stay out of trouble. Now go see the cook down in the kitchen. Helping her might teach you some humility. Okay, sir. Hey, new kid. You're that guy that beat up Russell. So, what's it to you? Hey, listen, we like to box, the noble art and all that. Why don't you come down by our gym in old Bullworth Vale? We should definitely hang out. Yeah, I've heard a lot of things about you. Yeah, whatever. Oh. Okay. Jim, go stand over by the bike workstation. Wait, I don't get to work on cars? Cars are for seniors. You gotta walk before you can run, boyo. <laughs> Good work, Hopkins. Not too shabby, Hopkins. You're showing promise, Hopkins. Performance anxiety. <laughs> Get used to it, kid. You're a man. It's all downhill from here, my friend. Anyway, what do you want? Nothing. The head sent me. He did? Oh, yeah! I need you to go to town and pick up some meat and other things for me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna have to put one of Ms. Phillips' cats in the casserole again. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me see. I need some meat from Yum Yum Market. Oh, and a razor from the barbers for my stash. And, um, oh yeah, some new knickers from Worn In. I've had these on since last term. Ha ha ha! Well, hurry up! Go, take my bike. It's that fine machine out there by the school gates. All right. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Welcome to Yum Yum Market. I might ah, need that. Ah, yes. The discount meat. It expires at midnight. I broke my car door when I thought it was a Galway.
Hello. You need a haircut today, yes? I'm just gonna collect this. work. This might come in handy. Um, you better use that meat soon. The clerk said it expires at midnight. Nonsense! There are no fuzzy eaters at Bullworth. It'll last for a month! Hey kid, do you want to earn some money delivering papers? Sounds all right. Okay, get the papers and deliver them all, but don't be late. Please go to your lab stations. Don't get too creative now, and for God's sake, don't eat anything. Work, you have a future in chemistry. Good job. Keep paying attention. Hmm, very 
very good. Carry on. Satisfactory work, James. I'll see you next class. School rules are quite clear on this subject. Quite clear. No alcohol on school grounds. Uh. You're drunk. Uh -huh. I can smell it on your breath. Uh? I can see it in your eyes. I'm not drunk. Drunk? In charge of children? What kind of monster drinks in front of children? A uh, parent? A disgraceful one, yes. You've got a problem, haven't you? Uh, I'm just under a lot of pressure. Uh. Well, I'm a kind and supportive colleague, Galloway. And as such, I think it is my duty to get you sat. Uh, do whatever you want, Hattrick. You always do. The head will find out about this. You okay, sir? Ah, uh, Jimmy. No, I'm not okay. I'm half drunk and I'm about to get fired. Fantastic. Oh, I'm a washed up old drunk and I'm only 34. English, you see, is a difficult subject to teach. I've tried any number of things to dull the pain. Yoga, meditation, needlepoint, looking at dubious sites on the internet, but nothing dulls the pain like scotch. Come on, sir, put that away. Are you mad? This is manna from the gods. Give me that. Let's get rid of this before you get busted. Oh, that's very kind of you, Jimmy. Miss Phillips is the only teacher to know about my vice. Take it to her. She will know what to do. is disruptive to the bulwark order. Here they are. I think that's all of them. Thanks, Jimmy. You're welcome, Ms. Please take this. 